Okay, everyone, we're back with uh, part four of this interview, and at last we come to the conclusion. We're going to be talking about the No Pink Spandex interview with David Yost. Tom, any words you'd like to say before, as a Power Rangers fan? Um, not really. I, I would just like you say a bit, and then I would chip in as and when. Okay, sure. I mean, I first saw it when uh, somebody said, you know, I was looking through the archives and saw, and uh, I didn't know he was sexually harassed because he was gay, and you know, the fact that he came out of a closet. It was a modern day miracle. That's what it was. I mean, it's like, you know, I mean, because I'm straight, I really can't say much because it's more victory for uh, the gay fan community. And, you know, uh, I mean, we have that episode where Billy has a girlfriend, you know, he, you know, where. You know, they have to fight Madame Woe, and the girlfriend sort of becomes a damsel in distress. And then we have that two-parter in Zio where, uh, you know, the slot machine thing they uh, had in Season 3 becomes sort of a plot device. And one of the side effects is uh, Billy ages rapidly. I mean, it wasn't their intent, but the fact that they paired him up with a girlfriend from Aquatar, yeah, that's when the red flags definitely came up. I mean, red flag number one, a forced relationship in Mighty Morphin Season 1. Red flag number two, the Unicorn Thunder Zord. And red flag number three, uh, the that two part in Zio, and he never exactly said in the interview who was making fun of him, but my hunch is that it was actually it could have been like a producer, but my theory is it was Jason David Frank because he said during the interview Frank put a fly in his sandwich, and I don't know if how harmful Frank meant it to be, but. I digress here. And he uh, signed uh, David Yost's couch. I don't know. But then again, uh, Frank claimed he ha has ADD. I don't know. Tom? Um, you you mentioned about the uh, two-parter in Zio, where he... Um, Guess with the um, ranger from Aquatar. I don't think she was. Um, a, she could have been a pink mission, but she could have just been a civilian. Who knows? Yeah. Well, that does kind of give the message that there is someone out there for everyone. That's the one good thing about it. Speaking on, you know, behalf of the adult community, I have, and looking at these episodes with a very critical eye, it's like, yeah, there's someone out there for everyone, but it was, you know, kind of sketchy, because first we have the Unicorn Thunderzord and the two forced relationships, the one from Zio and the one from Season 1. And, yeah, the fact that, uh, Billy, I mean, sure he was the geek, but, you know, from, uh, by Zio, it was like, you know, looking back on these episodes, it's like, okay, 
What's up here? Something is definitely not kosher. So, any final advice you want to give uh, a fans of the show? Um, nothing that I haven't al already said in um, one of my own videos. Um, so if you could put it as a link in the description to this video, that would be good. Um, the video is called No Fear in Being Queer. Um, it kind of covers everything from me coming out to um, help that's out there kind of thing. Mm hmm I see. So, that's an interview with another, uh, because I was just going to put the one with uh, no pink spandex. Well, you could put that one in as well. Okay. So, uh, what do I search for on Google? Um, I can just send you the link after we've wrap this up okay you know I highly recommend uh, you guys see the movie Ed Wood because if you haven't seen that movie it deals with uh, transgender issues and doesn't tell you whether they're making fun of the guy or honoring him they leave that decision up to you and with that I bid you a happy holiday season Tom and I'll uh, be uh, when the princess and I uh, cover Power Rangers in space, Tom will be back with his two cents. So, uh, look forward to that, everyone. So, until then, I've been your Sentai Snob, and I will catch you guys in uh, another part of my Hanukkah special. So, uh, thank you very much, and thank you for supporting my videos, and remember to subscribe. So... been a have a blissful holiday season Tom thanks you too